Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Vigilant Flame Interloper series. So, as you may recall, at the end of the last episode, we recovered some condition, but we, uh, as I also recall, um, yeah, we have no food. No food a whatsoever, and uh, we need to change that as soon as possible. I'm going to make one more pass through the kitchen because, yeah, and there's a blizzard outside too, which is the main problem, because I can't really go anywhere. But uh, what I'm going to do is pass some of the time by breaking down some of this cloth. Because we can use all the cloth we can get. As soon as we find a sewing kit, we have lots of repairing to do on our existing um, clothing. But as soon as that wind dies down a little, doesn't matter that it's going to be nighttime outside again. We have got to make our way toward maybe the Quonset or maybe the fishing village. Because if we make our way towards the fishing village, I've had one uh, subscriber already kind of advocate for Quonset, but here's the thing, we need food. And if we go towards the fishing village, we will also go towards the area of the map where I will find the most <laughs> cattails. Uh, yeah, we're playing interloper again, so cattails are going to play a really big role, you know that. Um, so, uh, oh, hello. I think that's the sound I might have wanted to hear. Let's step outside and see. Oh yeah, sounds like things might have just gotten better. Let's have a look-see. It's going to be cold and windy, and I'm going to get hypothermia quickly. But, again, we're going to walk in the direction of shelter. The other thing is, the Quonset, especially at night, is a little bit dicey. Hang on. Hold that thought. What you doing, game? Game, don't tell me you're infinite loading. Thank you, game. That's better. Okay, it's actually not quite dark yet. There can be wolves up here, so I don't want to be an idiot. Yeah, I do hear... Yeah, it's still really nasty. That's the problem right now, is that the weather is just completely awful. I think I'm going to go back inside and pass a little bit more time. The blizzard just ended, so with any luck... Uh, yes, I know what you're thinking. This could be my only window, but I'm going to risk it. Because with any luck, give the game another 10-20 minutes, and the weather might clear up a bit. Maybe another hour. Okay, we're officially starving. Thankfully, starving kills you slowly, so it's not the biggest concern in the world. We're fully rested. Where can I find something to eat? Mark, shut your face. <laughs> I got no time for your complaining today. Uh, let's take another look outside. That wasn't a lot of time. I th what was that, just 20 minutes? Actually, yeah, it's already a little better. It's not much better, but it is better. So, okay, let's um head over Zisa way. Stick. Stick. I've got a good amount of old man's beard lichen already, but this is the kind of thing that I have had really bad experiences in high difficulty, long dark play. To be fair, that was on uh, low vegetation settings, but still, I've had some some trouble on high difficulty, long dark play um, with running low on those particular supplies and not having the ability to nurse wounds and things. So I'm just being cautious. Okay, there's deer over there, which implies a lack of wolves. That's good. Another reason to go for the fishing village is that might be where a heavy hammer is. And we, we do need to find one of those soon, as soon as possible. We are playing interloper. That is still an objective. I haven't vocalized it as much, but obviously we need to um, we need to go for that if possible. We're fully rested and um, it's cold, so I'm going to move a little faster. How about that? I'm going to explore this fishing hut because I'm kind of hoping that I might find some stuff. Hey, pinnacle peaches, I'll take it. Probably going to eat those right away. Ah, another recycled can. Good, that means I can now make double water. We've been talking about that in the comments a few times. People have said, make twice as much water. And I'm like, with, with which second can are you proposing that, sir or madam? Because um, I don't have a second can. I guess... I mean, we need to make our way towards the fishing camp, and towards the area where the, um, whatchamacallits are gonna be. Wait, am I...? No, I didn't just turn around. We're good. This is the next island over. Right? Right? No. Wait. I did get turned around. My bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better. 
We do- I think I want to go over to Jackrabbit Island next, which... We'll have another house, and possibly a little bit more food. Because I- I would rather... That kind of scared me. I thought I heard something running towards me. Oh, we're right on the shore, holy crap. Hey, water, how's it going? I forgot it was this close. Surprised the ice isn't weak. Alright, again, there can be wolves, so I might shut up for a second here. But I would rather... Maybe see if I can... Can't feel my hands. Yeah, I'm working on it, dude. See if I can get through the night. Make my next move during the day. God, I can barely see. Okay. It seems... Famous last words, it seems clear. And I see a deer out in front of the island. Cross your fingers real hard. The Blind Hilltop series continues, right? I know, game. Damn. Freezing. Oh, this is the worst. This is so blind. There is another house, though. Hey, bunny. Okay, if there's a bunny right here... The likelihood of a wolf... ...is low. Yep. Okay. We are indoors. And it is time to explore yet another house. You know what, let me go ahead... ...and consume these. 450 calories, and a little bit of thirst quenching, thank you very much. Or as I believe I recently put it, thirst quenchedness. That was a popular one. Popular one, words. So yeah, we are going to explore here, see what other supplies I might be able to find. I'll talk in just a second about the consensus we've reached on the, uh, the boiling situation with the water, because we've been talking about it a lot in the comments, and if you're not a comments reader, I can clarify that for you. But I want to look for stuff first. So the objective again, we're going to go through this house. And, um, yeah, here's some tomato soup. This is why I came here. I mean, this was a sure bet for, like, possibly a lot of food, not just a little food, relatively speaking. And other kinds of supplies, including maybe even a sewing kit if I'm very lucky. Uh, so, worth coming to a full-fledged house like this before I head inland. And I do believe I will go for the fishing huts first, because I can make my way up that side of the map, grab a bunch of cattails, and have some stuff to munch on. Kind of important. All right, nothing in there. Whew, it is still warm in my apartment and in my recording space because I turned my AC off while I was out of town for Father's Day, and I thought I gave it enough time to uh, cool down, but I might have to take a break after I record this episode because I'm already, I'm already pretty toasty. And that's normally not an issue during the course of one episode for me. Circulation isn't fantastic in here, but it does... It does circulate, but the place was just cooking. It's summer. Summer in the south. Southeastern U.S. Anything down here? Maybe? Nope. Okay. Over here, maybe. How about that? Maybe? Nope. Okay. Well, um, how about under here? Nope. Nope. Nothing? Okay. Just a, just a bed. Just the bed. Okay. There's that. There's anything on the table. Aside from the metal lamp and the radio. Anything under here? No. An article of clothing would be nice. Just one. Or, you know, not. It's fine too. Okay, well, at least there's the chance for a little bit more water. Scrum diddly umptious toilet water. Oh man, I was kind of hoping for a sewing kit in here. So, not a lot. I mean, the tomato soup, I guess, is is something of a win, but eh, eh, we we didn't um, we didn't come away from this this house particularly, shall we say, full handed. Can we say that? I'm gonna say full handed. At least wanted to be fuller-handed than this. 
full handed as opposed to empty handed if you're lagging behind a little bit. There you go. Uh, I don't. Okay, I think. Did I search fully in here? Yes, I did. Is there anything maybe that I might have missed on this shelf? It's worth double checking for. Because I really would hate to overlook something like a sewing kit. If I had a lantern, I would have a lot easier time looking around right now. But guess what? I don't have a lantern. So that is not going to happen. Okay, well... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat the tomato soup because the condition is actually somewhat low. If I wait too much longer, the risk of food poisoning will be too ridiculous for me. It's already getting there, but we should be fine. Famous last words. Oh, and we're good on... Oh, that's right, tomato soup. I keep reminding myself of this. This is new. I think tomato soup used to be dehydrating, at least unless I'm tricking myself. But now it's not, which is cool. All right, so... Yeah, we don't really... How many calories do I have? 500. If I were to rest, I mean, I'm not going to be able to sleep forever. I'm only going to be able to sleep through some of the night. But I mean, I may as well sleep as long as I can to recover some warmth and condition for that matter. I'm going to wake up uh, closer to being starving. <laughs> But we are actually over... Oh no, just kidding. We're not over 50% condition. We are exactly 50% condition. But we are fully warmed up, which is a step in a brighter direction. For a brighter tomorrow. I, anything. I know, dude. Okay, so let's step outside here. Listen for wolves. Hang on. Nope. That is terrible nighttime visibility. That is... It is better in the house than it is out there. So we're going to chill. Let me take one more second just to look around. This is a just a funny YouTube thing, but one of the things that can happen when I'm just jumping in with a recording session, not only am I like not fully in the groove yet, but because I'm just starting my commentary, like I'm maybe, uh, you know, a little bit more focused on the commentary, a little bit more uh, jazzed up, ready to start recording, and that can make me less attentive to the game in the start of a session. So I just want to like triple check myself and make sure that I'm not being a dummy. Because I can use every little bit of supplies that I can grab right now. But we are officially... I mean, calorie-wise, I'm looking at... Not a lot of calories. Uh, let's... Yeah, we're going to be starving. Unfortunately, we are going to lose some more condition. I'm going to pass the time for five hours. Because that should give us till about daylight. We are going to be starving for a while. We're going to have to watch our condition drop below 50, sadly. It might climb a little bit before it drops, but... Thankfully, again, starving kills you quite slowly. All right, so the sun is starting to come up, and there we go. Oh, we just started getting thirsty. What am I carrying that's so heavy? And am I wearing everything that I can possibly wear? Yes, I am. No, 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 not again. Tell me that's just a gust and not an actual blizzard. That's terrible timing if it's a blizzard. Yep, it's a blizzard. And I think I saw a wolf too, either that or a bunny. It was a silhouette for a split second, you guys can tell me. But that is another blizzard. Crap! Talk about a way for the game to just... Insert any number of phrases for... Ruin your day here. So... I don't want to pass too much time. Because I'm, I'm starving, like... But, okay, that's a good sign. Okay, let me, no, I'm not going to sleep. I, I, this, this sounds like good weather. I'm going to take advantage of this because we've got, we've got the dawn. We are relatively well rested. Hang on. Got to check for wolves.
Okay, so those are, I know for a fact from that sound, those are crows circling a corpse. So there's a corpse nearby, but I just, I'm, I'm really motivated to head for where I know cattails are and, and just food is. We're going to head for the fishing village, explore those huts, look for the heavy hammer. Also, there is at least one hut that I can pop my head into, I think. Over here, without trespassing on wolf territory. Too much. And we're going to kind of follow this chain, because it heads inland. Not towards the fishing huts, it heads towards the logging camp, but then we would head down the road towards the fishing huts and at the same time towards the cattails. All right, so there's a deer in the direction I'm walking, that's a good sign. I can't lollygag here for long. Let me get some speed. Actually, I could go straight for the fishing camp right now if I wanted to. Just keep true, basically. Because there's the bridge. That's that's where the cattails start, right there. I And that, I think, might be a wolf silhouette. Or maybe not. Hey! Well, that's a gift. Heavy hammer in an unexpected location. So we got a heavy hammer, which means we can actually go back to Desolation Point. Anytime we're ready, but I would like to have a little bit more supplies before we... Nice. Herbal tea. Cold. Yeah, I'd like to have a little bit more in the way of supplies before I pull that trigger. Okay, so... Actually, maybe maybe that chain does lead towards the fishing village and not the, the logging camp. I thought it led towards the logging camp. But the cattails are in that direction. They, the, they start under the bridge and go up. But I want to... I want to check the huts because, well, actually, well, hmm. The cattails are guaranteed food. I'm less likely to be guaranteed food over here. And I could get up to the hut at the top of the river. This is, yeah, this is a little dicey. My condition is not great. I'm freezing and hungry, so I've got two things dragging me down. I've got to get inside and fix both of those problems, which is why I'm trying to think about how soon I need to grab some cattails. But... There's a possibility of finding some clothing really quickly, and the cattails are not far. So this is a, a sizable risk that I'm taking at the moment. Really? Can I not? Can I not? Really? Come on. Thank you. Be kind to me, game. Be kind. I'm glad we found that heavy hammer. That was lucky. So now I don't have to rummage around here where it's possible. Actually, let me not walk through there, because there might be wolves. Let me take a wider approach. Yeah. I'm still going to check back here because there could be a, a hook on the table. Or a mountaineering rope. That too. Alright, here's the loading thing again. Still hasn't been fixed, unfortunately. Oh, long pause. There we go. Something's got to go. I know, buddy. You're, you're encumbered now too, so we officially have multiple problems. Anything in here? At all? Nope. Okay. Let's check the huts. And see what we can find. Because they're... Hey, what's this? Granola bar. There you go. Mountaineering rope. Um, I'm glad I found it. I'm going to need to find a place to put it. I might even put it down once I've... Um, headed to the Quonset and uh, check that place for supplies. This is another possible location where a sewing kit could pop up. That'll be a tremendous win. Because we've got... We don't have the best clothing items in the world. Candy bar, nice. We don't have the best clothing items in the world, but we're... I mean, we're in decent shape. So if we can repair the stuff that we have... the cold will become less of a problem, at least for now, until the world starts getting colder later, because that's a thing in Interloper. It's a thing in the long, dark period, but especially in higher difficulty levels. The weather, the climate deteriorates as the game goes on. Isn't that fun? Doesn't that just make you want to play this game immediately? <laughs> Actually, for a lot of us watching this, it does, doesn't it? Okay. Keep looking. Hey, that's really good. I'm going to keep doing what I do.
because I want to stave off condition loss for a bit. We're going to go ahead and eat that dog food also because it's two thirds of a pound and I'm min maxing it a little bit. It's, that's not going to make too much of an impact on energy lost from walking around, but from being encumbered, but I'm still going to try and minimize my, my burden a bit. The other part of my burden is coming from, I didn't finish looking at this earlier. It's coming from the cloth I'm carrying. And of course this lovely cooking pot. I am, however, I've got this second pair of work boots that I forgot about. Hang on. I totally didn't. I dropped the ball on this one. Hang on. That's going to take an hour and a half, but actually the hour and a half could come in handy because we need to warm up. So let's harvest these for the cured leather. Hypothermia risk is healed. And now we're not encumbered anymore. Love it. But what else is weighing me down? I've got the other pair of shoes as well. I probably need to harvest those. Yeah, we've got so much we need to repair. Holy crap. All right, I'll get back to that in a second. I just, I still want to keep moving. That's my uh, primary objective at the moment. I could rest for a bit and get fully warm before I leave. Like I could rest for a couple of hours, recover a bit of condition, but if, if the weather gets crappy again, I will, <laughs> frankly, I'll just be pissed off. I'll still do what I need to do, but I'll just be mad about it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and sleep for, um, for two hours. This will warm us up and we will recover some of the condition we lost from that episode just now. I know it's ironic what I was saying earlier. I'm, I'm warming up. I'm, I'm warm in my recording space while playing the long dark of all games. It's funny. Nice. That's what I wanted to see when I stepped outside. There can be wolves out here though, so that's what I don't want to see. Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. All right, those are more work boots. Are they Still better condition? No, they're not. I probably just need to break them down in a second. I know I just picked them up so I'm encumbered again. I know, I know, I know. I picked them up so I can get the leather. It's another hour and a half, though. That's the thing I gotta consider. Dang it. Takes too much time. Too much time to break down a pair of shoes. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Dude, quit your bitching. Holy crap. You are so much worse than Jennifer. Jennifer, like, some people say that Jennifer's worse than Mark. I completely agree, or disagree. Like, no way. Like, Mark Mir, love your voice acting, but you complain a lot. Um. Okay, I think, I'm just, like I said, I'm triple checking myself, but I think we're okay. Well, it's either that or put down some of this cloth. I have, I do have a lot of cloth. And I also have this wood. What is there? Is there a heavier item I can drop otherwise? Maybe. You know what? I'm just going to drop the, the ragged work boots. Oh, I'm still encumbered, actually. Not that much. Screw it. I'm going to take them with me. Too heavy. Once I'm a little bit, once I have uh, cattails in me, I'll spend some time up at the, the cabin at the top of the river. Doing some, uh, doing some breakdowns. Because I'll have time to pass. All right, let's go. Actually feeling good now. We, uh, we're going to get a bunch of cattails going up the river. We're going to have a place to stop at the top, assuming it's not burned out, which I think I've seen that cabin burned out, but certainly not often. I do need to be careful for large furry woodland friends in this area, though. And by large, I do not mean wolves. I am not talking about the, the medium-sized variety. I'm talking about the ones that will maul your face off and kill you instantly because we're playing on the highest difficulty from the default settings of the game. I say from the default settings because it is actually possible to make interloper harder. Custom settings, custom, custom settings, words I'm going to be using for Against All Odds Season 5 make it harder in some ways and easier in others. Because there are some things about the stalker approach that I prefer to interlopers punishing, like... I do still like realism, and there are some ways where the interloper experience is just designed to, um, to try to kill you, which is nice, but at the same time you're like, oh, come on. Like, <laughs> there's no reason to have life regenerate more slowly than on stalker. You know, you can have all the other things still threatening your life. Let life regenerate more quickly, please. Stuff like that. 
but uh, I can't remember the other examples off the top of my head, but there are definitely ways to make it even harder than it is an interloper. But among the default settings for the long dark, this is the highest difficulty. Don't have a pry bar. Although evidently somebody told me I walked right by one elsewhere. No, left behind. Read text. Wes, I'm going to try and make it into Mystery Lake. I'm running low on everything, but we can find enough to get us through till spring. Then we can try to make it back to Calgary. Meet me there. We'll stay for a while. Follow the tracks in from Carter. You'll see the lodge building, but we'll make for the cabins across the lake. Bring anybody you can find. Bring food and a deck of cards. See you soon. Okay. Not bad. Straightforward. Transactional. I think... Mm, no, that's the gear shift. I got excited. I was like, there's something on the floor. Just kidding. Okay, well, we're about 26 minutes into this episode. I'm going to stop this one here, and we're going to swing this direction and start um, start picking some cattails at the beginning of the next one and head up to the, uh, the hut at the top of the river. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at... When are they coming out? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.